What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got another video for you today of things I've sold on eBay. These are all actual sales from the past month or so. Not everything I've sold, but a lot of interesting things that you can look for when you're going to garage sales or thrift stores. Lots of bolos here. Be on the lookout for them. They can make you money. As always, if you enjoy this type of video, make sure to hit the like button and I will keep making them. But let's jump into it. This might be one of my favorite flips of the year just because of how small and easy it is to deal with and how much profit it had and for as little as i paid i paid three dollars for this dell mini projector at a rummage sale and i'm like this has to be worth three dollars look it up and i'm like hey this is worth quite a bit i sold this for 175 dollars plus shipping it took about three days to sell just a phenomenal find here is a nice flip however i don't remember what i paid for it somewhere between 12 and 20 dollars it is one of these qb under the desk elliptical machines i sold it for 75 dollars plus shipping uh took less than two weeks to sell oddly enough i just got another one of these exact same one i found at goodwill for 7.99 so now i can get that listed they have a great sell through rate so happy to find it and of course happy to sell it i bought this monsters inc imaginex set it is complete it's even got some extras got it at a garage sale for 15 dollars but i sold it for 100 dollars plus shipping took about two weeks to sell i actually had to block somebody on ebay who kept messaging me about it wanting me to take a much lower price kept telling me it was for their kid their kid's birthday was coming up you know just people trying to get a better deal so i ended up blocking the person somebody bought it like two hours later someone else so when you have good stuff, you price it fair, you can always get your price. You don't need to take lower offers from people. Here is a nice flip. This Humminbird HDR 650 digital depth sounder. I got this at a rummage sale. I paid $5. It's new, but it does have some damage on the packaging here where it's been cracked open. Hopefully nothing has fallen out of there, but I ended up selling it for $90 plus shipping. And it took about a week to sell, so great flip here is a vintage new tone door chime this is a really good one i picked it up at a garage sale for only one dollar unfortunately it has a few flaws like the door hinge is broken off and uh, i didn't test it. it has a few nicks and ding dings on it but you can sell these tested and working for upwards to 200 dollars. i just sold it as untested and because of the hinge being broken off i sold it for 100 dollars plus shipping for a total of 122.18 and it took less than a week to sell so i'm thrilled for only paying a dollar i was talking about these in a video recently and a couple weeks later i find one so this stuff is definitely out there here's the third one of these i've sold these brother fax machines fax 575 all three of them i found was new i sold them for 200 200 plus however this one the box has been destroyed there's water damage all over it new inside though so you know i sold it for 140 plus shipping and it sold within 24 hours so these things sell great if you price them right i paid five dollars for it at a garage sale so i made some incredible profit sold this stir crazy popcorn popper that got this brand new at goodwill for ten dollars these things are kind of strange if you find some of the vintage ones from the 80s pre-owned they can sell 40 50 dollars by themselves they still sell these on amazon i believe they're like only forty dollars new on amazon that's for the newest model and then you got this 2013 model which is not that old uh 10 years old and i price this 65 dollars in my mind i'm i'm thinking i'm pricing this higher because i was like i kind of want to try it maybe if i get the urge i'll pull it from ebay and just use it it's supposed to be a very good popcorn popper but you know what it sold within uh, about 10 minutes of me listing it for 65 dollars plus shipping so apparently the 2013 model new is also desirable like i said you could get this on amazon for forty dollars new so for someone to pay like eighty dollars to get it that quick there must be some difference between them here's this batman light i got this at a garage sale i paid ten dollars for it. i was considering keeping it maybe hanging it up on the wall but i got so much stuff you know all over the place now on my walls so not really looking to, to put it up there not a huge Batman fan or anything. So I just went ahead and put it on there for $70 plus shipping. And it sold fairly quickly within a week. I was going to price it like 100 bucks, but it just has some scratches and stuff. And it doesn't have an on and off switch. Kind of generic, but still sold for a good profit. Here's one of these new bright Escalades remote control. Now I got this at a garage sale for $5 and it was just 
going to sell it as parts because it was missing the remote pieces. It was broken up, uh, even broke a wheel off, get transporting it home. But the reason I bought it was because I sold one of these working one time with the remote for about $300. So I knew I could make some money. You no, know, I just wanted it out of here. So I just priced it $30 plus shipping. I believe shipping was like $35. So I definitely made some profit on it. But you know what? I'm not buying another one of these for parts. They're just annoying to ship because they're so big, at least in this condition. But for now, I'm I'm happy it sold. I'm happy I made some money. Here's a TP link. Nano power line adapter starter kit. Got this at Goodwill for, I believe it was only $2.99. But I sold it for $37 and made some profit. This took about a month and a half to sell. I found these Timberland boots in a box at a garage sale. I ended up paying 50 cents for these is all. I sold them for $50 plus shipping. Took about three months to sell. If you see a box of old shoes and the shoes are 50 cents at a garage sale, dig through them. You never know what you're going to find. These are in great condition. Here is is a rotting zombie head I guess I picked this up at a garage sale for like a quarter I figured it would sell I priced it $20 got it last summer so it didn't sell last Halloween but it has sold now for $20 plus shipping so that's some pretty good profit for only paying a quarter happy to have bought it here is a, a GI Joe figure Baroness got this at a garage sale for two dollars got a little bit of packaging damage i priced it 15 plus shipping and it sold within about a week here is a good one this is an eden pure g7 air purifier paid 25 dollars for this at goodwill actually 20 because i remember having a five dollar off coupon and i sold it for 115 dollars plus shipping sold within two days of me listing it and it's new in box just a quick easy flip here are three VCRs I sold. You're probably going to be seeing a lot of electronics because I'm listing my electronics death pile, which has over a hundred of these things. These all sold within 24 hours of me listing them. Uh, I spent anywhere between $1 to $10 max. Uh, I sold one for 40, one for 25 and one for 25. Two of them don't have the remote. One did. The one I sold for 40 It ends up being great profit in the end. Here is a Toshiba DVD VCR combo. Picked this up at a rummage sale for $5. And I sold it for $50 plus shipping. No remote. Took about a week to sell. Here's a pretty cool flip. This vintage action figure, Moon McDare. I uh, got him at a rummage sale. I paid $2 for him. Ended up selling him for $70 plus shipping. He's not complete. He's missing uh, boots. I believe he has some space gear as well. In okay condition condition this arm was broken off and just hanging there plastic just kind of dry rotted around the socket there i still got 70 dollars, so um <laughs> i probably would have priced it about 120 if it was in a bit better condition had the boots but it was a nice pickup a nice flip i'll take it, it only took uh, about three days to sell here is a sun uv nail dryer this is new and sealed i picked this up at a garage sale for two dollars just bought it blind i didn't really know how much it was going to be worth figured it was worth more than two dollars and it is i sold it for fifteen dollars plus shipping so i'm not disappointed it was easy to list easy to ship took about two days to sell i made some good profit on it here is a pair of nightmare before christmas crocs got these at a garage sale along with nine other pairs of crocs paid twelve dollars a piece for these i've already sold some one pair being the carol g Crocs that I sold for $450 and these I sold for $113 plus shipping they're brand new with tags when it's all said and done I'm making a killing on these Crocs bought this Linux ornament blind at a rummage sale I think I paid two dollars for it pretty sure it's new in there didn't know what it was going to be worth but I've sold some Linux stuff in the you know 80s before wanted to give it a shot at two dollars and I sold it for $18 so made some profit on it not phenomenal but I'll take it this took about two weeks to sell Got a couple of these quick set door knobs at Home Depot. I believe I paid around $5 a piece for them and I sold uh, both of them for $40. Somebody bought both. Took about a month to sell. Sold something over here. This Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla figure I got at a garage sale. Got about $3.50 into this because I bought a few of them and I sold it for $40 plus shipping. So it's a nice flip. Took about a month to sell. Paid $5 for this TP link dual band usb adapter at a goodwill and i sold it for 25 dollars. only took a well less than a week to sell sold a couple pairs of shoes i got these nice michigan nike shoes i got these at a 
rummage sale. I think I only paid a dollar. Maybe it was two dollars. Sold those for sixty dollars plus shipping. And then I have a pair of San Antonio Shoe Company shoes, which I sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. So some decent shoe profits. Not sure how long I've had these because I buy so many. But the Michigan shoes I got. Well, it should be about five months ago. So it took about five months to sell. Got this cross stitch set at a rummage sale. I paid a dollar for it. Got a few different cross stitch that day. I remember one being worth quite a bit. This one, well, I sold it for $15. For paying a dollar, I'll take it. Took about three months to sell. Here's a vintage King Cutter food processing set. Got this at Goodwill for $5 and I sold it for $40 plus shipping and it took about three weeks to sell. Got a couple of these Oxygenix shower heads at a Lowe's. Don't remember what I paid for them at this point, but I sold this one for $45 plus shipping. So I know I made profit. I'm guessing probably about $20 profit. Took about five or six months to sell. Believe I paid four or five dollars for this range mate at a Goodwill. And I sold it for $35 plus shipping. Not even sure what it is exactly. Some sort of microwave cooking set thing. Brand new in box. Uh, this took uh, over six months to sell, something like that. Believe I paid about seven dollars for this Viewmaster projector at a Goodwill. I sold it for thirty dollars plus shipping. Took about two months to sell. Here's a bunch of Barbie clothes I got at a garage sale for just four dollars and decided to do an auction because there's no way i'm going to list all these individually and try to research them to see how much they're worth honestly i thought these would do a bit better uh, on auction they sold for 36 dollars plus shipping for a total of 51.47 for what i got into them you know it's great profit but i was kind of hoping these would go to 50 to 75 dollars but i know a lot of barbie clothing barbie stuff is just not very valuable but hey we'll take it it's money here are some more of these disney vintage figures that came out of Kellogg's cereal boxes. Already sold a lot for $20. Here's another one. I sold this one for $15. Had a few less figures in it. So for having a couple dollars into them, I made some decent money. Only took about a month and a half to sell. And I sold the last of these shower heads. $45 plus shipping. Here are some women's Ariat boots. Picked these up at a Goodwill for only $5. I sold them for $40 plus shipping. It took maybe three or four months to sell. Sold the last two of these 10 years. Smoked detectors i got at home depot paid about seven dollars a piece for them sold them for 29 dollars a piece this is the last two i think i picked up 10 so made some good profit on all 10 in the end took less than a month to sell them all here's this little tykes car doll set here i got this out of a little or a calico critters lot that i bought to sell it was stuck in there decided to look it up and it was worth selling by itself i sold it for 18 dollars. i only paid uh 20 for all of the calico stuff so this all Almost paid for all of that but it only took like three hours to sell so I was kind of surprised about that here's a nice flip this z-boost cell phone range extender got this at goodwill for five dollars and I sold it for seventy dollars plus shipping this sold very quickly uh within two days so nice quick flip here are these marvel figures i got these for a couple bucks at a garage sale i bought them blind i didn't know how they would do what they'd be worth not phenomenal by any means i sold them for 18 dollars plus shipping for a total of 35.88 made some profit they took about a year to sell here are two worry free smoke detectors and i got these at home depot these are different than the other ones i sold where i bought 10 I only got four of these, but I was able to sell these for a lot more. I paid $17 a piece for them, and I sold these two right here for $130 plus shipping. Apparently, these have a voice alarm, which I don't know how that's beneficial maybe that's why it's more pricey i don't know not really worried about it i just happy to make those profits sold these crocs within two days of listing for twenty dollars plus shipping got them at goodwill for five dollars they're new with tags they're kind of a basic pair you got, got the actual crocs company selling these for twenty five dollars so i decided to sell mine for twenty plus shipping still made some good profit here's a nice pair of keen sandals i got these at a rummage sale for one dollar sold them for $35 plus shipping and they took a year to sell about or was it three months I think I got these this year actually I'm, I can't remember exactly time and everything just kind of blends together anymore pretty sure I got these though in the spring and
and I've sold them already, but hey, either way, I made some money. Got this Scarface PSP game. I got this at a rummage sale for a dollar, and I sold it for $25, so took about a week to sell. I'm happy with it. Here's a food processor. I got this at a Goodwill. I paid, I think, $7 for it. It's got a lot of attachments, parts, clean, in good condition. I sold it for $55 plus shipping, and it took about three to four months to sell. Here's a new sealed Nerf gun, retired dart tag, speed loader six. Not really sure how much money I got into this. I got this in a kind of a bulk lot I did where I bought a few different things. It's not much, honestly, but I sold it for $20 plus shipping, so I'll make profit on it. Took less than two weeks to sell. Here is a great shoe flip. Got these Adidas Sambas at good will for five dollars i remember they just come out on a cart snagged them up and uh sold them for sixty dollars plus shipping they took about three weeks to sell uh i don't know if they've even ever been worn so nice flip indeed here's a kids bop karaoke cd brand new sealed i don't know where i got this it's one of those things that's just been listed for a long time i'm assuming i got this to sell on amazon and it became restricted or something i just sold it on ebay but the good news is it has finally sold for 12 99 I probably paid, you know, $2 for it at Goodwill or something like that. Here's a pair of Justin boots. Gore-Tex, size 13. Nice pair. I don't remember where I got them at this point because I found so many boots that one month. It was either Goodwill or a rummage sale. I don't think these came from a garage sale. I paid somewhere between a dollar and five dollars for these. So I know I didn't pay much for all the boots I got, but I sold them for $40 plus shipping. And well, they took about three to four months to sell. Here's a pair of Sony Vintage Speed speakers got these at goodwill a long time ago now probably three years surely it hasn't been four i got two boxes of these along with a bunch of other vintage speakers i've sold all of those even the exact sony one like this sold very quickly i don't know why it took so long for this one to sell also the last one of these i sold i sold for like 150 dollars this one i sold for a hundred because i eventually just lowered the price because no one was buying it and i do have about 40 dollars into it so i still made some good profit sat for a long time no idea why the other one sold so quick but hey it finally sold i made some money here is a gaming headset i picked this up at a meyer store uh, years ago for five bucks i just kept it in the closet because i thought i might use it one day probably never going to use it so i listed it a couple months ago for 15 dollars plus shipping and it has sold picked up this lonesome dove dvd set at a garage sale for one dollar brand new sealed and i sold it for fifty dollars took about two to three months to sell nice flip Picked up this Delta Fossa. It's new in box. Got quite a bit of box damage. I believe I paid about $8 for it. Sold it for $45 plus shipping. Took somewhere between four to six months. Don't remember exactly when I got it, but it sold. Here's this Thomas the Tank Engine set. I got uh, the whole box for $2 at a garage sale. I decided just to do an auction on this, see where it would go. And uh, well, it sold for $14.88 plus shipping. So I did make some money. Wasn't that hard to deal with. Just had to photograph it. Now I got a package it up picked up this winnie the pooh cookie jar at a goodwill i paid seven dollars for it sold it for 35 dollars plus shipping this took about a week and a half to sell here is this dual car stereo system i got this at a garage sale last year for five dollars and well it finally sold for 38 dollars plus shipping made some good profit on it in the end here is a yadro figure i got this at an estate i don't have much into it and it sold very quick within 24 hours now some of these pieces the right ones can be over a thousand dollars so it's always nice to find a nice quick sale here is a yamaha receiver i sold i got this at a garage sale i paid ten dollars for it I actually picked up two of them that day two different ones one of them has a remote this one does not i sold it for eighty dollars plus shipping and it sold within 24 hours i priced it to sell but i didn't price it that low i don't think but happy it sold We'll get it shipped out, making some money. This vintage Disney Aladdin lunchbox and has the thermos took a long time to sell. I'm kind of surprised. I got this three or four years ago at a garage sale. I paid 
a dollar for it maybe even less than that it wasn't much at all I remember it being an incredible deal I thought I was going to sell it for about $40 plus shipping I eventually just lowered the price to 20 because no one was interested still took a, about a year after that to sell so I sold it for $20 plus shipping I mean I made great profit it's just for something like this to be in great condition and have the thermos I just expected it to do better here is an Animaniacs DVD set or I guess three DVD sets two of them are sealed one is not got these at a garage sale for a dollar a piece sold them for 30 bucks took about three months to sell here are some ugg boots i picked these up at a goodwill for five dollars they've never been worn and i sold them for fifty dollars plus shipping these took about five or six months to sell i think here is a yamaha receiver i picked this up along with another one i've already sold at a garage sale for ten dollars sold it for fifty dollars plus shipping it sold pretty quick then about two days happy to get these large electronics out of here turn them into money here's a couple cross stitch items i sold paid one dollar for this one at a rummage sale and five dollars for this one at a garage sale sold this one for thirty dollars sold this one for twenty dollars so some great profit coming in from these uh, they took an average of about two months to sell got some of these big time muscle cars at goodwill i paid a dollar or two for them sold this one for fourteen dollars so it's some money ah uh, bought these <laughs> sometime within the last year i think here's a sony cassette set cd player radio got this at a rummage sale for one dollar i sold it for thirty dollars plus shipping uh this took less than two months to sell sold these green sketcher shoes i picked these up at a goodwill for five dollars sold them for forty dollars plus shipping they took about two weeks to sell sold these pair of Saucony shoes i believe i got these for a dollar at a thrift store i usually don't buy Saucony shoes unless they're special they don't sell that great so i'm assuming that's where i got them anyway sold them for 25 dollars plus shipping so even if i did pay five dollars i made some good profit on them here's some of these nike rafa shoes i got these at goodwill i remember paying up a little i think i paid twenty dollars for them I ended up selling them for fifty dollars plus shipping i believe they took about a year and a half maybe two years to sell probably not two years it's just one of those things with shoes sometimes they take a long time to sell it takes the right buyer to come along sold the last two of these worry free smoke detectors got these at home depot seven dollars each sold them for a hundred and thirty dollars plus shipping so great profit in all of those they sold quick two to three weeks here is a nice flip i sold these samsung filters i got these at a thrift store for one dollar they're normally ninety dollars i sold them for thirty five dollars and they sold within about a week sold this general infrared thermometer uh, i got a few of these at lowe's for around five dollars a piece i believe i've had them listed for a year i think i sell one every now and then i believe i got one more left after this i sold it for 25 dollars. so i got a bunch of these ox thermos coffee bottles at lowe's on clearance one year uh probably been two maybe three years ago paid around five dollars a piece for them and i sold uh, a lot of them and i had a few left over nine of them actually that had some small like scratches from just bumping up against each other you know uh, being on the shelf dust and stuff like that so i just never sold those never listed them came across them I'm like i gotta get these listed so just put them on ebay they're actually selling quite well there's hardly any listed so it's a good time to to sell them and i sold this one for 25 bucks here's a richard simmons sealed dvd set got this at a rummage sale for a dollar or less sold it for 14 dollars and it took about uh three months to sell i think here is a chair gym i got this at goodwill for twenty dollars it's new in box sold it for one hundred dollars plus shipping it took less than a month to sell here is a jurassic world dinosaur don't remember where i got this how much i paid i'm sure it wasn't much i sold it for twenty dollars so this duck decoy was a bit of an experiment got it at a garage sale for what was it five or six dollars it had a faded stamp on it i couldn't see the name or maker so i just decided to do an auction to see what would happen started the auction for what i paid for it plus shipping and well it didn't sell no bids so I just put it on there for $15 plus shipping and someone bought it and they paid $22 to have it shipped. So going across the country, kind of surprised. You know, in the end, I'm making close to $10, but I would say it's a, 
a failed experiment. You know, I didn't get the 30 or 40 maybe $50 I was hoping it could be. It just depends on the maker, the name, on these duck decoys, the age, all that. And I'm no expert, but you know what? I gained a lot of knowledge and I made some money. There it is, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something today. But don't forget to hit that like button for me on the way out. Make sure you are subscribed. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. Thank you for watching. This has been Wick. Until next time.